Hey people, welcome to the channel and again with 319 when it's your first time playing what is it that you should be doing? Well, this is gonna be an actual run of the first time playing 319. Now, as I always say, if it's your first time playing Star Citizen, do use the referral code, you will have mine there below in the description. Don't waste any money, just do your starter ship pack 45 50 bucks that's all you should be spending in this i mean if you want to spend ten thousand dollars which i know people do be my guess you know but my advice would be you're not going to be enjoying the game anymore just by doing that it actually kind of works against the fun of enjoying the game now once you get yourself to your spaceport usually you'll have some sort of transportation what is it that you should be doing well once you go to the expo and rent a few more ships you will have sub several of these at your disposal so for example i have my little avenger titan there these ones i just rented now all of the ships you first have to ask them to be delivered if you're not planning on using some of the ships you rented from the invictus event right now then go elsewhere and have these delivered i suggest going to a space station saving your character in the hospital there in case you die and having your ships delivered there especially now with claim times being as long as they are now i've already claimed my little sentinel which is available for rent and that's what i'll pick up right now so you ask it to be delivered you will be told of a certain hangar where you have your ship 06 there we go i like starting these with activating call to arms just to get paid a little bit extra that's always what was it? Zero, zero 06, is it? Yeah, there it is. Zero 06, six, there it is. So, I activate call to arms in your Moby Glass. As always, you want to click on F1 for that. Elevators are even slower now. Nice feature. <laughs> okay, F1, you go here and you go into your contract manager and you activate these. I already have it, so in mercenary, I call to arms. It's important to activate this one because whenever you kill an enemy, you will be paid more. 500 bucks, 1,000, depends. Then activate this one, protect site trial contract. These are the bunker missions. They're not always all that easy. It takes a little bit of a learning curve, but you want to do a couple contract missions in bunkers so as to stock up on gear without having to buy it with in-game money. It's much better to save that money and buy actual ships than just having that spent in stuff like, you know, clothes and, well, armor and undersuits and all that stuff. These ships are quite nice. The, the Vanguard series, the Sentinel, is all um, a laser weapons. So you, and yeah, it's a, a lot better for grinding the combat beacons that I was explaining before, the best way to make money in the game right now doing those low combat beacon missions and then moving up to the moderate ones you could go try the high combat beacon missions but honestly they've been make they've been made so tough so hard that it will be uh, quite difficult even torpedoes are not working as well as they as they used to and that kind of sucks it is what it is the company already has us used to this kind of thing so wouldn't be the first time now if you play for the first time you will notice that you can open the hangar with F3. I think they already made it. If not, go into F1 and go into comlinks and go into friends. And here, clicking here, they will open it for you. But I suggest doing it a hotkey on F3 if it's not already the case. I think it is, but maybe I got that wrong and I did this myself at some point. Anyway, you want to go up, accelerate C so as to go decoupled and take a bit of velocity and go a little bit faster once you reach about eight to nine thousand meters maybe 10 11 you will be able to go into quantum trial mode with b you go into quantum trial mode as you see right now you have to first exit the atmosphere that's what we're trying to do right now going for one of our first bunker missions you have they are under different names you will find some of these like yeah, the bounty missions are also good. Protect site or, or protect site, uh, try site, uh, um, protect a site uh, trial, anything. You have to just check that there's some security force there, so as to not have to deal with the turrets. Turrets are kind of a pain in the ass because it means you have to go spacewalking. 
uh, well, actually not spacewalking, but walking the surface and not landing with your ship right there where you want it. Now, I will also suggest that besides doing the bunker missions, you also want to drop by a couple of the mining stations. You will quickly know the, to identify them on the different planets and moons. Mining stations are perfectly safe. You just land there and loot. You will loot food, clothes, undersuits, and some armor as well. So it's a good way of stocking up on some of these supplies without spending any actual money. If you die, no big deal. You can actually do these bunker missions without anything at all. Just go at it naked and with a um, center with a middle mouse button, getting very close, it does a takedown on your on your attackers. So you can just bring them down by just rushing them and and clicking on the on the middle button on your mouse. <laughs> you leave everyone unconscious but finish the mission. But you still have a, a little gun of some sort and if you're patient and know how to move around, I'll actually show you how you do how, how to do it right now. Uh, you always start with an undersuit and helmet. Remember that so as to get the helmet on, you need the undersuit and so as to be in space and not suffocate to death, you need some kind of helmet on. So that's kind of mandatory for for the game unless you're in one of the planets that has uh, an actual atmosphere which is yeah it's not always the case I see a couple ships already stranded there that means that some people have already died there and left their ships that's thanks to persistence <laughs> one of the nice things that we have now is a bunch of dead ships just waiting yeah, if you're going too fast, that thing that I just did, a little roll like that, that usually slows you down nicely, so as to not crash and burn. L activates your lights, N brings down the landing gear, and I see a nice big 600i over there. Cool, that's pretty nice. Um, Alright, where is this thing? Yeah, so damn big, it's covering the entire entrance. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so let's try to land between the wreckage of these things right there. Oh man, this is uh, well, kind of tricky. Somehow managed to land <laughs> in that spot. Okay, let's leave the shields on. Why? So as we get out of our seat. And there we go. We have the mission going. 10 out of 10 hostiles. Nice. At least that's a good start. We bring our little Handgun out. Do we have a handgun with me? Yes, I do. Okay. A little arc light pistol. Sometimes when these ships are left behind and blown to crap like that, you can actually access them if you shoot the doors enough times. Yeah, nice. Dead people. Uh, if you shoot the doors several times, you open those doors and you can get in and steal those ships. If the elevator hasn't spawned, leave the area and come back. It's been 100% success rate in my experience. Right? Center button, it just hits the guy with a gun and leaves him unconscious if you're just way too close for comfort. If I have a little bit of luck, I may able may be able to find... Nope, well, not the case here. What is it I find here? I hopefully... Well, nope, nothing. Okay, I just have my, my little red med pen there. So let's be patient. Move around a bit and... Rule so as to not die is keep fluid. Move around a heck of a lot and that usually works pretty well. That's a good guy. Don't shoot the good guys, only the bad guys. Okay, good guy here as well. Now that bad guy that I did shoot the crap out of, he has some decent guns which I could make good use of. So let's just run around a little bit. I'll just drop my armor over there and get that guy's armor which I like a whole lot more. Actually, I could actually do something else. You know what would be even better? To keep my undersuit and get the guy's armor. I have some a bunch of guys there that should provide some level of protection, I'd hope. They're keeping their act together. Alrighty, okay. Let's do this. Loot, loot, loot. So just double click on, on this thing. Man, you see it's not working. But usually double clicking on it should allow me to just steal the entire thing. But since it's not working now, just have to be a little bit more creative. So I'll just drop my undersuit and my helmet 
over here and steal the entire thing. All right. So I drop this thing. I drop this one. There. Nice. Nicely piled up. Running a little bit. Moving. Loot. Double click on the undersuit. And boom. Like magic works every time. Now this gun I want to store here. And I want to go grab. Why is it still there? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll put this one over there. So as to free up some... Because I want to get his gallant rifle. Whoop. Grab. Grab it. Yeah, you're back towards the potential enemies. Never a good idea. But it is what it is. Do we have a med pen? Of course not. <laughs> so I have to be careful. I do have more decent armor now. I would like to have like an MT. A multi-tool. There we go. And just in case I need that thing. Whoa. Someone's shooting. If you move around like I just did, that gives you a little bit of an edge in terms of the desync that you have. Because with that desync, there's a fair chance that you will not die right away. So at least I have that med pen there. It's not a med pen, it's a med gun. Not shooting all that great today. But the, neither are these guys. Probably better off just killing them all. Man, I, I do want to get myself med pens, which usually work nice. What about here? Okay, I at least have one. Let's finish this thing. And loot. Uh, a good bit of, of armor. Headshot works nicely. It's one of these weird double guns. Oh, crap. Reloading worst possible time. Someone's shooting at me, I think. Okay, I see a couple red boxes. Those usually have loot, and I'm definitely looting that big... That nicer heavy armor. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, too. Yeah, that guy looting his ass for sure. That was easy. Die. All right. And there we go. Now I have to just hurry a little bit, carry some of this stuff. I wish I could have been able to just park the car, <laughs> the car, park the ship a lot closer than I actually did. I'm a little bit further away usually don't like that all that much but you get the point what you can do and I'll show you how to do it right now you can make a very quick run for it you will take a hit in your oh man really 30k right now that would be that would be so hilarious yep <laughs> when you see the elevator going like that you're kind of screwed you're kind of done <laughs> anyway folks that's gonna be all for now as always see you on the next video take care